ratios, proportions, and their variations, direct and inverse. Hello everyone! Today, we'll dive into the exciting world of ratios and proportions. Specifically, we're going to understand the concepts of direct and inverse variation. This is a fundamental topic in GMAT and GRE math, and understanding it will help you solve numerous problems. When two quantities are related in such a way that if one increases, the other also increases, or if one decreases, the other also decreases, they are said to vary directly. This is known as direct variation. On the other hand, when two quantities are related such that if one increases, the other decreases, or vice versa, they are said to vary inversely. This is termed as inverse variation. Imagine you're driving a car. The more hours you drive, the more distance you'll cover. Here, driving hours and distance covered have a direct relationship. If you drive for 2 hours and cover 100 miles, driving 4 hours will likely mean you've covered 200 miles, assuming constant speed. Mathematically, this can be represented as y equals kxy equals kxy equals kx, where kkk is a constant. For instance, if yyy is the distance and xxx is the time, and you know that in 2 hours, x equals 2, you cover 100 miles, y equals 100, then k would be 50. Thus, the relationship can be represented as y equals 50xy equals 50xy equals 50x. Consider two people working on a task. If one person takes 10 hours to complete it, how long would it take if two people worked together? Definitely less than 10 hours, right? The more people working on the task, the lesser time it will take to complete. This is an inverse relationship between the number of workers and the time taken. Mathematically, an inverse variation can be represented as y equals kxy equals frac k x y equals x k. For instance, if yyy is the time taken and xxx is the number of people, and you know that one person, x equals 1, takes 10 hours, y equals 10, then k would be 10. The relationship can be represented as y equals 10xy equals frac 10x y equals x10. In GMAT and GRE, problems won't explicitly state whether a relationship is direct or inverse. You'll have to infer based on given information. Tips. Direct variation. Look for consistent increases or decreases in both quantities. Inverse variation. One quantity increases while the other decreases. Remember, understanding the relationship is key. Once you do, Finding the constant and establishing the equation becomes simpler. And that wraps up our exploration of direct and inverse variations. With a good grasp on these concepts, you'll be better prepared to tackle various problems in your GMAT and GRE tests. Remember, practice is key. The more problems you solve, the more intuitive these relationships will become. Happy studying, and see you in our next lesson.